I heard that there was a Silver Surfer game released for the NES, I decided to hunt this game down and give it a try. After all, the Silver Surfer is one of the most powerful characters in the whole of Marvel Comics, yet despite this, he's more commonly associated with the characters of the Marvel Universe, most commonly the Fantastic Four, so learning that he got his own game was both exciting and surprising. After much searching, I finally found a site containing the ROM, and oh dear, this was not worth the effort I put in to find it. At first glance, it doesn't seem too bad. It controls fine, the graphics and sound are pretty good for the time, so why is it here? Well, it seems poor difficulty balancing rears its ugly head once again, as this game made the absolute moron decision to make it so that the surfer dies at a single hit from anything. It doesn't matter whether you got hit from an enemy attack, collided with an enemy, crashed into a level hazard, or even touched the wall of the goddamn stage, you died. Oh, and the levels are filled with hazards and enemies that seem to exist solely for the purpose of taking away that one hit point in the most frustrating way possible. As you'd expect, this basically kills any and all fun factor that the game may have possessed otherwise. Now, I have no problem with hard games the majority of the time. Look at something like Dark Souls, for instance. Yeah, it's hard, but if I get the feeling that if I messed up, it was due to my own failings rather than malicious intent on the part of the game designers. Here, though, not so much. It's like the game itself is breaking the rules of its own design to throw everything it has at you to trip you up and bring any and all of your progress to a screeching halt. It got to the point where the insane difficulty made it borderline impossible to talk about the other aspects of this game, such as level design, as I feel as though I'm incapable of doing a fair judgement analysis due to just how hard it is to get past the first goddamn screen, let alone the first level. All I can say is, I'm not a fan. The Silver Surfer deserved way better than this.